some of you may have figured out that I really wanted to get into Polaroid cameras and this is my first one the Polaroid 320 land camera and it is a pretty cool camera I got it for like five dollars at a thrift store didn't know if it worked so um, I kind of modded it and made sure it got up to speed and I kind of tested it on this trip to San Francisco I took recently on the bottom of the camera you can see that it has that little plate and that's just usually to protect it I take it off immediately and then I have to hold it so it's kind of awkward but this is an old camera so what are you going to do to open it you're going to push up on this little button right here and then pull out you can see these bellows are kind of a um, incorporated from older cameras from older folding cameras and it's used to make the camera compact so if it's this big it's going to be hard to carry around but if you can fold it down with those bellows it makes it easier to carry around and that's why they have them to focus you're going to see on the top there are two actually two little focus things there's a range finder on the left where you're going to focus your image and then a viewfinder where you're going to um, you're you're going to set up your shot. So that's what you're going to really look through and set up your shot with that viewfinder. But the rangefinder is just for looking at focus. So kind of a primitive way to do it, an older way to do it. Definitely not modern. There's a very big red sh um, shutter release button right there, but it's actually kind of hard to use at first. So your shutter can be stuck halfway right there, and that's not what you want. You want it all the way down, so fully cocked, and then you can hit it. So I lost a couple of exposures, and I'll talk a little bit about that later but you want it all the way down right there and then shoot it. ASA is adjusted right here on the top of the lens. So I'm gonna try some multiple exposures with that 3000 speed, it's gonna be pretty fun I think. To adjust, you're gonna slide these bars or to focus, slide these bars left and right. That's the focusing mechanism. And it's pulling the lens closer and further back if you look closely. On the front, there's same exposure modification, or exposure um, compensation, I think that's what it is, or it may just be affecting the way the exposure is working. But haven't figured it out. Plastic lens, but you're not going to get great super sharp photos with this camera. That's not what it's meant for, I believe. To close it down, push on that little metal bar. Just push in a little bit, and it's going to fold down pretty nicely. So pretty compact. As compact as something like this could be, I really think. On the back, I had to do a battery modification. So it uses three volt batteries, and I made a two AA um, converter. TSA was not happy with this converter though, and they scanned my camera three or four times and went through the metal detector two or three times. Um, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I may just keep it. And it was a pretty funny story. So how do you load it? There's a lot of other videos on loading it, so I won't go too much into that, but I'll just talk about the film pack. Basically drop it in there and kinda wanna give some tips. So uh, it's a weird it's a weird, totally different shooting experience. You're gonna shoot your film and then pull it out and then wait a minute. And I lost a couple exposures just because I was so new to it and it wasn't natural, but I think I really want to get into it just because the pictures came out so good. Here's some examples. So I was in SF over the weekend. This is one in Dolores Park. And the first thing you're going to notice, the colors are really vivid, really cool. And this is because it's a chemical experience. It's chemical exposure, not a digital one. This is me in Golden Gate Park. So just a super fun, super different shooting experience. Here's a funny story. This emulsion was still wet and I put it against a piece of paper and it stuck to it. So next time I know, you got to get it dry before you put it anywhere. Here's another one from Golden Lake Park. And exposures are going to get better um, the better you figure out your timing on these. And timing is based on heat. Here's another funny story. Um, pulled it too early. Pulled it a little bit uneven. You're going to see the emulsions a little bit funny on the side right there. So just a super fun experience. This whole thing cost me less than $20 even with the modifications. And it was a totally different shooting experience. I shoot a lot of digital and I shoot some film. But this is kind of the like in between them. It's a, it's a, you get immediate results. You can show pictures to people and they really enjoy it. And if they're, everyone thinks it's really cool. So when you're shooting it, people are always looking at you and see what you're doing. And it's just a really different experience. So like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I promise to do more vintage stuff. I think that's what a lot of people who look at this channel are trying to, trying to find. And I promise to bring a lot more vintage stuff back into this channel. So thanks. Bye.